Have you received reports or have you reported on any um, retrib retribution in Syria for people demonstrating here in the U.S.? We have received reports of intimidation and of uh, retaliation. We are at this moment asking for investigation. We are not quite certain. But there, there is enough reports that I think it required uh, somebody to look into that. But these are serious words. What do they actually mean? What do we mean by, ret what do we mean by retaliation? What do we mean by retaliation? Well, one instance we had uh, is that uh, someone who is very active uh, um, calling for democracy in Syria, protesting in front of the uh, embassy here, um, a family member was, was killed, you know, you know in, in Syria. And, and in direct response to the family member's demonstration here that's, in D.C.? That's because... what we would like to find out. Uh, I mean, that person was very concerned after meeting uh, the ambassador. And uh, when we heard that his, his brother um, died uh, uh, because of injury, he, uh, and we heard also a report of a member of the security, Syrian security, visiting the family in Syria. So that's a very serious, you know, we, we would like to see democracy in Syria, not importing intimidation uh, to the United States from, from Syria. But, but, but when we talk, when the State Department talks about having received reports, do you think that's it? I mean, do you think that might be the main, I mean, do we, are there any other reports? Are there any other groups as far as you know? I mean, so, well, so, some reports, you know, that we received, including uh, trying to photograph uh, uh, car plates um, of, of people who were demonstrating, um, um, asking for, for democracy in Syria in front of the embassy. So this is serious. I mean, we, 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 we would like to, uh, the whole thing to be looked into. Uh, are you satisfied then by the U.S. response to these allegations, first of all? Uh, we, we, we are happy to see the, the State Department uh, uh, looking into that. In fact, the State Department has a unit that will look into uh, concerns uh, about security um, um, related to, to uh, diplomatic uh, corps. But what about the, the U.S.'s general response? And we, we have this now. We also have the U.S. ambassador visiting a flashpoint uh, town. Uh, meanwhile, though, the official line does seem to me that Assad is still their guy. So, have you, are you clear as to what the U.S. position uh, is? We, we feel that we would like to see more clarity. Definitely, uh, the, the, um, the State Department and the president have put uh, the Syrian uh, president on notice that either reform or, or go. Uh, this has to continue to be the, the, the stance. We would like to see more, uh, more pressure. Um, uh, definitely we are not happy with what's happening in Syria and the government is not res re responding sincerely. Uh, there, 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 there are talks of reform, but not actions. But very quickly, you don't think it actually perhaps it gives the Syrian government to bes the opportunity to besmirch the protesters when the U.S. ambassador becomes so closely aligned with the protesters? Uh, well, uh, definitely, but, but at least we don't want to see you know, those, those uh, very uh, tactics that uh, are contrary to human rights and to, to democracy no, exactly. taking place in this country. Thank you very much. Two U.S. soldiers have been killed in Iraq near Baghdad International Airport.